Hi and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today I'm just going to do a short demo of the Magic Powder just on this little nail tip so I'm not really doing a major design or anything I'm just literally showing you um, what you need to do. So we've got a white um, nail tip here and then what you need to do is apply a matte a matte um, top coat first. So I'm just trying to find my matte top coat. Here it is. So we're going to use the I May Lee matte top coat because this will give you a. It's not a smooth base if you like. It's not shiny, so the, it'll allow the magic powder paint to stick. So I've got a white base for this because I'm going to use neons. So just going to add this. Sorry, my hand shaking. I get these tremors in my hands every now and then. Okay, so I'm just going to cure that for 60 seconds. Bear with me. So I'm just going to cure that for 60 seconds and then I'll show you. We'll just get the pigments ready. So I've got a She Modern canvas here. Um, I'm going to add some yellow and orange to the base. So I'm just going to dispense these, actually I'm going to need my paint container. Just let me go and get it and then I'll come back. Right, okay, so we're back. So we've got some pigments in here. I just didn't have all my stuff out so I had to just uh, start this bit again because you would have just been getting really annoyed because I wasn't organised. So all I've done is put some orange and yellow neon sparkling pigments in there. I've got some water in here to clean out my paint brushes and I've got some water to add into that. And then we're going to need the magic powder. So we've got our surface like that. So we're just going to need one of these really shiny light buffers and we're just going to give it a little, like not much, just a little buffing just to make sure we've got a nice matte surface just to give ourselves a matte surface so there we go and then we're going to get some of this magic powder so it's from She Modern and we're going to put a good amount in there so it's about 50-50 this is what's basically going to turn these pigments into a paint add a good amount to the pigment you can always add more if you need to and then now we're going to add literally a drop of water to the side like that just to the side and you're going to get a mixing brush and you're just going to wet your brush you might need a little bit more so you can always put the water just on this kind of canvas on the side and just wet your brush and then just mix so you don't need a lot of water at all if you put too much in is fine. So now I'm just going to clean the brush out in the water. We're going to mix the other colour. So I'm just using water here because they are they're not they are toxin and all the chemicals and bad stuff free. So they're safe for children to use as well. So this would be a great thing to do with children to be honest. So I'm just going to wet my brush and then just dab in the magic powder just literally dab it in and mix you might find you need a tiny bit more water and you can do that and if you find you need more just get more so 
so let me keep that. So now we're going to try this brush. <laughs> I think I'm crazy using my good brush for this, but so this is the Wand by Robin Moses. You see, these dry out. You should probably do one colour at a time. And then you're just going to get your nail and we're just going to add some light flicks of paint. So it's just a cool way to make a different nail art really and it sort of just washes out of your brush so that's a good thing. I think we've got enough yellow, I'm just going to wash my brush out. And to clean the Robin Moses brushes you just drag like that so you can pop it in the water and you just drag it like that so you're gentle with it. So I'm just going to get a drop water. You can just add more water to these if you need to, and more magic powder if it doesn't if it looks too thin. What I might do is just add thicken it up and I might just use this brush as well and I'm just So what I'm doing is just dabbing in the colouring. Just colouring in more yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that dry uh, for a bit and then I'm going to come back. So I'm back. So I've added some Ime Lee No Wipe top coat so that's the background that I've come up with and that was little to no effort really but you can see you can get some nice colourful um, designs out of this trust me this is a lot brighter than what it's showing up on that camera just there um, but we're going to do some stamping we're going to add some some palm trees or oh, I don't know I don't know where to add that no, I'm going to add some palm trees and um, one of these like birds or something or we'll add the palm trees and then we'll see where we are <laughs> I think I'm not much of a stamper it's something that I'm working on it's work in progress and this is plate number tropical by born pretty store and it's number L002 
so we'll go for the palm tree and we'll see what happens <laughs> shall we say The stamper and scraper is born pretty store as well. Basically, I'm just going to remove anything that I don't want. and yeah so yeah I'm happy with that so we are going to top coat that the I may be no wipe top coat and I think we're done I think I'm happy with it I would advise gliding uh, polish over a stamping polish you can apply regular polish um, to this magic powder paint as well I'm just using gel but you can use regular as well and if you did it on children you can use a children's polish or none at all and just let them wear it for the day and wash it off or we'll let them wear it for a bit at home and then wash it off or something <laughs> so if you'd rather not put um, anything like that on them so that is it that is me um, so I'm just going to clean this stamping polish off with my brush this is how it says to clean them so as you can do with it like this while well, that's curing So I'm really happy with these brushes. This is I'll show you them in a separate video, but this is the unicorn brush um, by Robin Moses. So that's what the unicorn brush looks like. I paid thirty dollars, I think, for the set with shipping, and this is the wand. So it's like slightly shorter. So that's the wand. It's slightly shorter, but honestly these feel so nice and I had a little I want to have a little try with them like a proper try I've just had a little try with them now um, but I want to have a proper try and do some freehand with them so that's something I may do this week so that's it people that is my magic powder demo I'm sorry if it's uh, been a long one um, I'll stick a photograph up of this because the colours are more enhanced in real life I'll try and come up close but trust me that does look more neon and that looks more yellow um, but yeah this would make a nice manicure I have um, I have a couple of videos on these and when I used these when I first started doing YouTube I did a decal with glitter so I'll put it in the top right it's called strawberries and cream and then I did another one where I used it as well so I'll also put that in the top right um, but if you want to see more videos or maybe in a full, maybe in a, even a full manicure just let me know or if you want me to try it with regular pigments like Born Pretty Store ones I've got then we can try that um, and I'll do another demo with glitter with them on the decals I'll do an updated video um, on that but if you want to watch it it's in the top right but it was one of my earlier videos so it's not the best and it is fairly long <laughs> so you'll have to excuse me um, but yeah I'm happy with how this came out I really liked it and so if you enjoyed it sorry my battery died um, all I was going to say was if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like subscribe and press the notification button if you want to see more videos by me so that's it so um, if you want don't forget I've got a flexi hand giveaway going on 
um, at the moment so if you want to enter that click in the video in the top right or it be in the description box as well it's now free shipping on the flexi hand so it's hand worth 75 pounds um, all free no shipping to be paid completely 100% free to the winner and everybody is included so if you want to see how you can win it just click the video in the top right now so that's it so thanks for watching bye